you can define different criteria for date fields. The examples are for the order date field in the orders table. Enter the criteria in the criteria row of the field in the query design grid. To display orders that exactly match a value, enter that value in the criteria row of the order date field. For example, enter 1-1-2021. The query returns orders where the order date is 1-1-2021. Enter not 1-1-2021 to return orders where order date is not 1-1-2021. Enter less than 5-1-2021 to return orders that were placed before May 1st, 2021. Enter greater than or equal to 1-1-2021 to return orders that were placed on or after January 1st, 2021. Enter greater than 1-1-2021 and less than 5-1-2021 to return orders that were placed between January 1st, 2021 and May 1st, 2021. Enter between 1-1-2021 and 5-1-2021 to return orders that were placed between January 1st, 2021 and May 1st, 2021. Enter less than 1-1-2021 or greater than 4-30-2021 to return orders that were placed before January 1st, 2021 or after April 30th, 2021. Enter 1-1-2021 or 2-1-2021 to return orders that were placed on either January 1st, 2021 or February 1st, 2021. Enter in 2-1-2021, 3-1-2021, 4 one to return orders that were placed on any of these dates. Date part function returns the specified part of a given date, for example, year, quarter, month, etc. For example, to find records that contain a date that falls in a specific month irrespective of the year, use the date part function. To return orders that were placed in December, enter this expression. The query returns orders placed in December of any year. To return orders that were placed in first quarter of any year, enter this expression. The query returns orders placed in the first quarter of any year. To get orders based on current date, use the date function. Enter date to return orders that are placed on current date. The query returns orders placed on current date that is 10-30-2021. Enter date minus 1 to return orders that were placed on the previous day. To return orders that were placed in the current week, use date part, date and year functions. A week starts on Sunday and ends on Saturday. Enter this expression. The function compares the week of the order date and the week of the current date using date part function. Then compares the year of the order date and the year of the current date using year function. Only if both return true that order is included in the results. The query returns orders placed in the current week 24th October to 30th October. To get orders that were placed in the previous week, enter this expression. We have 53 weeks in a year. Use the year function to get the year from the order date and date part to get the week number. Now multiply the year with 53 and add the week number. Use the date function to get current date and do the same and subtract 1. We must subtract 1 since we want orders placed in previous week. The query returns orders placed in the previous week, 17th October to 23rd October.
enter between date and date minus 6 to return orders that were placed during the last 7 days. To get the orders placed in the current month, use year, month, date and now functions. Enter this expression. First compare the year of the order and current year and then month. The query returns orders placed in the October 2021. Enter this expression to return orders that were placed in the previous month. We have 12 months in a year. Use the year function to get the year from the order date and date part to get the month number. Now multiply the year with 12 and add the month number. Use date part function to get current date and do the same and subtract 1. We must subtract 1 since we want orders placed in previous month. The query returns orders placed in September 2021. To get the orders placed in the current quarter, use year, date part, date and now functions. Enter this expression to return orders that were placed in current quarter. First compare the year of the order and current year and then quarter. The query returns orders placed in the current quarter that is fourth quarter of 2021. Enter this expression to return orders that were placed in the previous quarter. We have four quarters in a year. Use the year function to get the year from the order date and date part to get the quarter by passing Q as first argument. Now multiply the year with four and add the quarter. Use date function to get the current date and do the same and subtract one. We must subtract one since we want orders placed in previous quarter. The query returns orders placed in the third quarter of 2021. Enter this expression to get the orders that were placed between the current date and the same date last month. Use the date add function to subtract one month from today. The query returns orders between 10-30-2021 and 9-30-2021. To get the orders that were placed in the current year, enter this expression. The query returns orders in the current year 2021. Enter this expression to get the orders that were placed in the previous year. The query returns orders in year 2020. Enter this expression to get the orders that were placed between January 1st and today, year to date. The query returns orders between Jan 1st, 2021 and October 30th, 2021. Enter less than date to return orders that were placed before the current date. Enter is null to return orders where order date is missing. Enter is not null to return orders which have an order date. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.